In this mini clip, we'll be looking at linear models. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. While I read this problem, I'm just going to highlight the key information that's given to us. So a clinic is in the process of purchasing a new thermometer. Company A sells their thermometer for $4,000 and charges an additional $2 for each use. Company B sells their thermometer for $3,200 and charges an additional $3 for each use. Now how many uses are required for the total cost to be equal? Taking a closer look at our question here, we'll realize that there are two unknowns. We don't know what the cost is when they are equal to each other, and we don't know the total number of uses that are required for the cost to be equal. So let's assign some variables to these unknowns here. We'll let y represent the total cost, and let x represent the number of uses. The total cost for both companies depends on the number of times the thermometer is being used. This means that for each company, we can express the total cost as an equation. So let's begin by looking at company A. Since we're developing the equation for the total cost, Y represents the total cost, so we will have Y is equal to, and now we need to develop the equation here. Since company A always charges $4,000 for its thermometer, we can write 4000 in our equation, since this is the base price, and it will always be charged. The company, however, increases its price by $2 for each time the thermometer is being used. Since we're increasing the price, we will be adding onto this 4000 here that's already being charged. So I'm going to have this addition sign. Now we'll be increasing the price two times the total number of times the thermometer is being used. So we're adding $2 times the number of uses, which is represented by a variable x. So 2 times x. Now this here is a linear model, because if we were to graph this, it would produce a straight line on the graph. Now let's take a look at company B. Again, we're writing the equation for the total cost, and y represents the total cost, so we will have y equal to. Now, company B charges a base price of 3200 so here we will have 3200 Similar to company A, it charges an additional price. Now this additional price is $3 for each time the thermometer is being used. So we're going to increase by $3 each time the thermometer is being used. So times the number of uses, which is represented by the variable x. This here is also a linear model, since if you were to graph it, it would also be a straight line. So I'm going to label this equation 1 and this equation 2. I would now like you to try to do this step with the question you are given. Here is the answer you should have got. Now coming back to our question, we just developed the equation of a line that represents the total cost for each company. Now we're asked to find how many uses are required for the total cost to be equal. If we were to graph these two lines, we would notice that their total cost would be equal when the lines intersect. So in order to solve this question, 
What we really want to find is the point of intersection between these two lines because the point of intersection is where the total cost is equal between these two companies. Now there's two ways to solve for the point of intersection. There's the method of substitution and the method of elimination. We're just going to use the method of substitution. So we are going to substitute or sub equation one into our second equation. So what this means is, wherever we have a y in our second equation, we're going to replace it with 4,000 plus 2x. So here we will have 4,000 plus 2x, which is replacing our y here, is equal to, and I'm just going to write the rest of this equation, 3,200 plus 3x. I would now like you to try doing this step in the question you were given. Here's the answer you should have got. So now coming back to our question, we want to collect our like terms. So we want to bring all our x's to one side and all our numbers to the other side. So I'm going to bring this 2x to this side of the equal sign, which will cause the 2x to become negative, and I'm going to bring this 3200 to this side of the equal sign, which will make it negative. So I will have 4000 minus 3200, since we're bringing it to this side, is equal to, I have plus 3x, or I could just write 3x, don't need the plus sign in front of there, bringing the 2x on this side we will have minus 2x. Okay, now we can just simplify this. We have 4,000 minus 3,200 will give us 800. And 3x minus 2x will give us x. So what we did here was that we know when x is equal 800, or the total number of uses is equal to 800, we know that the total costs are equal between company A and company B. So we solve the question. We just need to now write our concluding statement. Therefore, after 800 uses, the total costs are equal. I would now like you to finish off the question you were working on. And here is your final answer.